welcome to my youtube channel modi mechanical engineering tutorials so in this video i would like to explaining about electrical comparators or you can say most common name and that will be as a lvdt and that will be the linear variable differential transformer so that will be the most common instrument is being used for the measurement of the mechanical movements into the electrical signals now we will start with the construction of electrical comparators so in the case of the electrical comparators basically consist of three coils which will be wound onto the non magnetic tubes so that would be considering as a non magnetic tube or you can say the armature so there is a one primary winding so here that will be the primary winding which is fed with the ac supply or you can say alternate current supply so and the secondary winding so e1 and e2 basically that will be called as a secondary windings and the two secondary windings are symmetrically placed so here that will be the secondary winding 1 and secondary winding 2 so s1 and s2 that will be having a emf that will be the e1 e says from the construction wise a ferromagnetic core which is called to be a armature that will be the attached with the moving part which is freely inside the tube so that will be the non magnetic tubes so in that case the movable core is coupled with the spindle or a contact point with your applications so now we will see that will be the spindle which is connected with the displacement and that will be the secondary winding s1 and primary winding and secondary winding s2 and that will be considering as a non magnetic tube so how it will be works just you can see when ac current that that should be applied to the primary windings so that will be the ac current is applied so what happens the magnetic flux is being generated by the coils and which will be distributed by the armature so that will be the ferromagnetic core is being used so that the voltage are induced into the secondary winding so that will be the e1 voltage and the e2 voltage is being inducing by the passing of the alternate currents now talking about a uh, different position is of these armature into the electrical comparators so let us see the this positions so in that positions the equal and opposite voltage are induced into the secondary windings because this armature it will be into the center positions so what happens so here that will be the e1 is equal to e2 because that will be the e2 minus e1 that should be equal to 0 because that will be into the center position or you can say this is called as to be a null position of armature or you can say balanced point into the lvdt so the variation in the positioning of this armature from its null positions that will be produced as an outputs in terms of the voltage suppose the displacement into this direction or this either that will be move into the left or right so that will be the displacement so according to this position of the armature towards the e1 or towards e2 so that will be making a different voltage into the circuit so that will be the indication of the electrical signals now just you can concentrate if the displacement of this link or can say spindle towards the left side suppose so this armature it will be moved into the left side so so this red color of the new positioning of the armature towards the left side so what happens so from here that will be towards the e2 or you can say secondary windings so in case of the left side movement of the armature e2 is always greater than e1 
so the voltage from the secondary winding is being increased so for e2 the voltage of secondary winding is being increasing for the left side movement of the armature core now the third positions if this armature it will be moved towards the right side so let us see so this new positions or you can say pink positions it will be towards the right side so if armature it will be moving into this direction so you can say towards the secondary winding s1 so what happened here the voltage from e1 that will be greater than e2 so from this side that will be increasing of the voltage so according to that voltage difference from the null positions either it will be from left side or either it will be from right side so you can easily identifying the displacement towards the left side or displacement towards the right side of the systems so according to that movement of the armature basically it is observed that the magnitude of v0 voltage that will be is a function of the distance that will be moved by the armature and with its polarity or you can say phase indication so in which the direction it was moved so either that will be from left side or either that will be from right side so according to that voltage is being changed from primary winding or you can say from secondary winding s1 and from secondary winding s2 so that will be all regarding for the electrical comparators that will be having a wide applications in the field of the mechanical movements that will be converting into electrical signals for the measurement of the displacement so i think you understand this so if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you very much